Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. I'm going to continue the unboxing fun with some more products from my pre-order from the May 21 to April 2022 or 2022 annual catalog by Stampin' Up. Okay, so let's let's get going. I can't open that catalog for you yet because it's not live. Okay, I'm going to show you. We're going to go through Flowers of Friendship and we're going to decorate some cards that we open last time. We're going to do inspired thoughts bundle. Let's see. This one's basic borders dies, tailor-made tags dies. We're going to open those up. We'll show you the party puffins. I got a lot more stamps now. Beauty of friendship and this goes with some paper I've already unpacked. Hi Linda. And then I have some other designer series paper. One of these is new. One of these is older. We'll open those up. And then what I figured I would do, sorry for the glare there, what I figured I would do for fun, hi Bonnie, is take some of, the, and I had some ribbon too, I'm going to take an existing punch, this is the double oval punch, right, I'm going to take this uh, butterfly duet punch, which is on clearance, or it's on last chance sale, maybe the postage stamp punch, I'm not sure, I'm just going to use my punches to punch out sentiments from either this, like this little hello, or maybe maybe you're the best or something or maybe this one if, it, if, if these fit in my so what I'm gonna do is take these and I'm gonna finish up projects that I started last video using products that I unboxed from that video so I like to I like to do follow-ups in my videos of new things okay so I I like to just follow up so we have Donna and Barbara and Rose hello so let's just do let's open flowers of friendship I got a big old pile We'll open that, we'll stamp with it a little bit, and then we'll, we'll just start opening other stuff and we'll see how far we get. You know, if it gets to be like so long and I got all carried away on a tangent, then we will have to continue it later. But, all right, so when you open up a stamp set, Flowers of Friendship Bundle, you're going to, oh, I thought I was going to show you the new case. There's supposed to be a new case, but I guess this one doesn't have it. There's, there's supposedly new, new stamp cases, so we'll see if any I have any of those haven't come across it yet. So what you do is we're going to we're going to mount a stamp. Okay? So, hello Jennifer and Diana. So let's look at the let's look at the punch. Okay, we're going to we're going to mount a stamp that'll go with the punch. All right? And I got a little piece of basic white paper for you to to stamp onto. Okay, we're going to take I did have it. Here it is. Okay, here's a piece of basic white. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Yvonne. Joyce. All right, this looks like this one. This flower will go with it. Okay, so this flower is going to go with the punch, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the sticker off. That's the first thing you do. And then we're going to take the stamp out of the, off the rubber piece, and we're going to go like this. Peel that off. You don't need to save any of those parts. And we're going to mount this onto there. And I don't think it matters. Let's see. I mean, I think it's all the same, it's symmetrical, but let's just see if the lines are different. Okay, this one has two lines. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it goes like that, but, you know, it doesn't, it probably doesn't really matter. Because it's probably symmetrical. So you stick that on there, and then you pull that off, and you stick that to your stamping block. Okay, so stick it to your stamping block. Good. Now, it also has this little stamp, or this little flower. So we can do that one too. We can take that one off. And you know I make a mess when I craft. So we'll see how, how this goes. All right, I'm going to stick that on there. There's one, there's one that's not connected, so that little leaf goes there. Okay, we'll mount that, and then there's a couple leaves. So I, I love punches. Ooh, don't leave that. You got to leave that stuck to there. I love punches. Absolutely brilliant. And, you know, I was thinking, oh, should I get another floral set? I have so many flowers. And then I was like, well, yeah, because of the punch. And now it's stuck on my finger. So, so yeah, you get it because of the punch. You save 10% when you get a bundle anyway. So we'll mount that one on there. We'll mount... We need, we need this one. Okay, which one am I holding? I think I'm holding the small one. All 
I got to get this back down there like that so I can mount it. <clears throat> stay, stay. I mean, it's not going to be mounted exactly, but there we go. And we'll stick that little guy on here. And we'll put that one on here. All right, so we have everything we need for the punch. Okay, so we're going to take our memento black. And always stamp onto your mat first, right? Okay, good. Good, good, good. The stamp came out nice and crisp. Good. 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 So now we have them stamped, and now we can stamp them onto here. Okay, we're, we could do... Um, okay, let me just explain. Well, first let me, do, let me just do one flower, and then I'll explain another trick. Okay, so let's just do one flower. We're going to open up the punch. We're going to go like this. Stick the stick it in there. And we'll just punch out one flower. Did you see how I opened the punch? I should have been slower. Every punch comes snapped like that. Okay. Hi, Denise and Linda and Lorna and Silky. Oh, I like that name. I hope I said it right. Great name for a crafter. Okay. See, so what I'm doing is I'm lining up the punch like this. Now, this is... This is just like if you're going to punch one thing out at a time. And in this particular case, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, you're going to punch a flower out. Right? And then you could do another flower. But there's a trick. We'll just, do, we'll just do another flower. And we'll do a leaf just because then we have something for our card. So you can put that smaller one down in there. Sometimes you got to cut the little edge off to get in there when you're when you're punching right like I wonder if that one's symmetrical or if this one matters or maybe I maybe maybe this doesn't go with this no it does go with it it goes with it I just had to tilt it all right perfect okay so I have another one and now what you would do is you would do the leaf the leaves and get them in there but there's an easier way to punch so you don't have to do one thing at a time I'm just doing it just to just to get these done, so I have them for one project. Cause I want to, I'm sticking these on a card in a minute, what, the cards that I want to finish from last time. So, oops. Case in point. Make sure you stamp the right side up that goes with the punch. So go like that. If you're gonna if you're gonna punch, I mean if you're gonna punch it out, stamp it the right way, so that you can get your punch in there. Okay, but there's an easier way. So you go like this. So we have our pieces, and we did it the hard way, but now check this out. I don't know if it's a dogwood. Someone who's good with flowers can say if it's a dogwood. Hi, Donna, and hi, Deb. All right. What, this is how you really would do it in, in real life, okay? You real life. Like, Kim's going to make a 1,000 of these, right? Or however many I make, 100 of them. I make a ton of these. So I'm going to go like this, okay? This is my template. Okay, follow me here. Follow me here. That's not, I don't care about that. It's generally a template. Okay. So, I stick, I, I have to grab, I can't grab it. Let me see if I can reach my Stamparatus tray. It has like some butterflies on it right now. It's going to be like full of butterflies, but let's see if there's an empty one. All right. Hopefully I didn't lose my microphone when I went across the room like that. Okay, here we go. So you go, you would take your little template. Let's get rid of the butterflies for a moment. And you would do something like this. Okay. Just follow me here. You would, I'm, I'm, I mean, this would be more precise. I'm only just showing you a trick that, so you got your little template and you punched it out just once. And you put that on the bottom of your Stamparatus tray. I'm sorry, that was my, this one, that one goes there. You have to do it upside down too. So basically you just, you just, you just go through like this, your template. You want them to go like, of course they wouldn't have ink on them, right? You want them to stick through like that, you know, so that they stick in there. And of course you can tweak your template once you get it set up, but you just face them all up like that, right? And like that. And you can use different colors on your Stamparatus, right? They don't even have to be, 
And I think this one went like that. So you would, you would, is this one bigger? Yeah, something like that. That would be your template. Okay, you got your stamparatus all set up. That's your stamp positioning tool. You lower it, right? You lower it, it grabs all the stamps. Bada boom, bada boom, and you do 100 of them. 200, 1,000, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? You just keep doing them. And then later, because you've stamped them all over and over, and then later you take your punch while you're watching TV, and you go punch, 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 right? And you punch them all out. So that's the easier way. That's the easier way. Okay, well let's grab some of these new found colors. New, I'm going to use, I'm using this one. I don't know what color, if you said they're dogwood, what they're supposed to be, but I'm making it pale papaya. Because I don't ever care about scientific accuracy with my flowers, as you can tell. I just color them whatever. Whatever colors I want. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going with the pale papaya because it's a new in color and because it's going to match the paper that we're going to open. I'm pretty sure that's one of the coordinating colors in the paper. So we're going to, because then we can embellish. So what I did is the dark on the outside, light on the inside, color the flower. And we can do that to this one too. And this one even has little sections. That's even nicer to, you don't even have to blend those. There's already little sections already cut off. To, to separate the colors. How nice is that? So that's even easier. And then light in the middle, and then we'll do, we'll put some of the, I'm just using the new ink colors. I'm just gonna use the markers. They were the blends, but I don't have to blend these little leaves. I such small areas, I'm just going to use the marker. This is called, this is the new color called soft succulent. So I'm just making some soft succulent leaves because they go with that. They go with the pale papaya. I keep wanting to say peach because it looks like a peach. It's like a peachy color. And you can take your dark, your dark one and just sort of go like that along the line. This is the dark one. This is called this is my least favorite color. I'm going to make this number five, month number five in my color club. I'm going to do a color club. We're doing that color last. That's called Evening Evergreen. It's too dark for me. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now we just need something in the middle. And this is my go-to. It's my go-to flower center. I just used, you know, I usually just use whatever I have. Bumblebee, Crush Carry. You could, Daffodil Delight's too bright, so I always, in the middle of my flowers, I just grab a Crush Carrier a Bumblebee. All right, so now we have some stuff for later, and that is the Flowers of Friendship Bundle. Okay, now, I don't know if any of these sentiments, these look like they're too big for my, no, they're going to be good for my rectangular postage stamp punch. Let's see what they say. Little card, big thanks. I like that. Oh, many thanks from all of us. Thank you for everything. We'll go for thank you for everything. If that fits in my postage stamp. Let's see if it fits first before I go through the trouble. Okay. Thank you for everything. So before I bother, I just make sure it fits in my postage stamp. Hmm. Was that the all of us? Nope. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to push it. We'll just do the other one. Little card, big thanks. Little card, big thanks should fit. Yes. Little card, big thanks. Oh, yeah. The, the evening evergreen is going to be good with Christmas type of stuff. And it's going to be good with trees. And the, it makes great card backgrounds. It's just that, like, since I'm, I'm going to do a color club and colors have to make me happy, and I'm going to go with the happy colors first. I'm going to go with my, I think I'm going with this one first. I'm going to do a color of the mud thing where you get all the 
different part. I'll announce that soon. I have to work out the logistics. Well, the logistics are worked out, but I just don't want people signing up too early for something. Then they can't get anything. I can't even order anything until May. And then everyone gets frustrated. Oh, but I signed up and I can't order. Well, I can't order it either until May. All right, there you go. Little little card, big thanks. That's going to work. And it's and I just put it on that first. So we need to do, I'll just get a little piece of where we're we gonna put that on. I was thinking I could put it on a piece of Oop, that's that's a piece I use for aligning it. I'm thinking I might be able to stamp right onto the cardstock. So we'll see. We'll see how that'll look. How helps absorb? How will this gets absorbed here? We get in there. You get when you stamp on the cardstock. You got to hold it there for a few seconds, so that it really absorbs the ink. Little card, big thanks. Alrighty, let's see how this works on the. And what I'm trying to do here is just finish off some cards from yesterday. So we got our little pieces, but I'm going to move on to open the paper because I think the paper is going to help us maybe finish off the cards. When I say finish off the cards, I talked yesterday about these hand penned. I talked about these memories and more cards and we opened them all up and I said, oh, these are great with the, the hand penned. I said, these memories and more cards, you can just mount them and you have instant cards. Look, I said, just mount them onto memories and more cards. So that's what I did. See? And now I feel like I need to finish them. They need something. Right? They need a little flower, a little butterfly. They just need a little something, something. So we open up the designer series paper. We could throw a couple of little strips of paper on these and a couple butterflies, a flower, and we're good to go. These will be done. Maybe a couple gems. Right? But I mean, not that they're not nice the way they are but they just need something. So that's where I came up with, let me use the stuff that I'm opening today with the stuff that I opened yesterday or the day before, however, it's all blur, it's all blur. Okay, so the, my new paper that came in, we all like paper, right? I had shown you the hand penned designer series, or hand pen memories and more cards before. Now I'm showing you the hand pen designer series paper, basic black. Trying to open it up here with the scissors. Basic Black Blushing blushing Bride Kate Cinnamon Cider. These are the coordinating colors. Daffodil Delight, Garden Green, Highland Heather, Mint Macron, Misty Moonlight, Pale Papaya, Pool Party. There you go. There's that Pale Papaya that we just made the flowers of and Pool Party. And by the way, just logistically, this is still on sale, I think. Someone can correct me, but this stuff's awesome. I'm not going to open it all up. I just want to flash through it. This was on the uh, last chance sale. Love this paper. This is retiring World of Good Designer Series paper. I need to get it out of the way because I have too much going on in my table. But this is World of Good specialty paper. Look at that foiled matte paper. So this paper I got. And every single time I place an order, I think I'm just going to add a pack of this until they run out because I love this stuff. I love paper. I have way too much paper, but it doesn't matter. All right, so here is the hand-penned designer series paper. How cool is this paper? It looks like somebody did a whole like work of art here. And hopefully the light is not some harsh shadows. There we go. I'm going to turn my light a little bit so you can really get a good look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so this is Super nice. Yep, it's very pretty patterns. <laughs> Linda knows the drill. We're going to finish them today. Hi, Mary. from hey, Another friend from Georgia. Got Georgia on my mind. Wait till you see the new peaches, Mary. There's going to be a whole peach suite. We just aren't allowed to buy it yet. A peach something. Peach paper. Peach. It's just peach stuff. Okay. I forget what it's called. But it's it's has a peach. Okay, here we go. This one's gonna be a good one. That one's gonna be good. This one's gonna be good for what I'm thinking. Is little strips, these two for little strips going across that. Those cards. Even this one too would make a nice strip. 
of paper to go across those other cards to jazz them up. It's your favorite paper? Wow. I mean, it is beautiful. It's beautiful floral paper. I think it's my upline Hattie's favorite paper. She was going gaga over this paper. I'm, I'm just loving it because of, like, I love all paper. But I'm not actually going to get the, you won't, well, maybe I shouldn't, never say never, but I'm probably not getting the, the stamps and all the business that goes with it. This is part of a whole suite. I'm going to dig the paper and the memories and more cards. Let's put that off to the side. And then this one, I'm just thinking these are going to make great little accents for my projects. And this one too. Beautiful. Okay, but this one's too light because my, these are a lot of, there's already a lot of white in here. So I'm thinking this one. And so now what we'll do is just grab those papers I just had and grab the trimmer. So when you have the memories and more card packs, they are, let me make sure my ink is not open anywhere. My memento black is closed, and let me make sure I remove all of those leaves from earlier. I know they're lurking somewhere because I didn't do anything with that. Here it is. I knew they were lurking. I'm going to get them all over my... Got to get rid of this, or there's going to be ink everywhere. All right, so now what we're going to do is, whenever you get memories and more cards, they are six inches by four inches. So it's easy to make little strips. So six inches by four inches. There's already a little lip that's already keeps my paper from going more than six inches that way. So that's easy. And now I'm just going to make a little inch strip. And then my cards will be complete. It could be an inch and a quarter. I'm just doing an inch just because I think I could do a couple of them. So let's try it. Let's try it. Let's jazz up the cards. Yes. See how they needed just a little something something. I, I think just one strip because there's you know, already so much going on there. And I could do one over here. So we could do this one over here because there's too much peach going on in that one already. Uh, not peach, papaya. It's papaya, but I'm calling it peach. And we could do that one there. All right. Now, if I don't have the actual, you know, seal plus adhesive, then I just use... I would normally use the rolling adhesive, but it's okay. Use whatever's, whatever's sitting right in front of you, right? Which this is sitting right in front of me. And plus, what's nice about making the little strips with a little bit of glue is that you can wiggle them around until you get them to the right place. Okay, so you can wiggle it and it goes like exactly lined up. So that's six inches by one inch. So now I'm jazzing up the memories and more cards. Here's another one. Let's see. We already have that one. That one's beautiful. Hate to cover that up. This one will use this. This little bit of, so it's Hyde and Heather. It's not the same as our new ink color that Fresh Freesia, Freesia, because that one has a little bit of purple look. This one, but this is sort of a different shade, a darker purple. All right, good to go. And now we're gonna now we're gonna take our extras, little things I said to save. I said this one will be good, and this one will be good. And I think this one is perfect for butterflies. So we're going to take our butterfly duet punch. You can do two at once, two pieces of designer series paper at once. This is the one that's only $7.20. Like, if everybody doesn't already have this, I don't know what you're waiting for. Okay, we're going to do a couple with this. This is like retiring, and I'm sad that it's retiring. All right, so we have lots of little butterflies, and now we're going to add those. And that little flower that we, that we just did. Where is the flower we just did? Here it is. So we could layer up the flower, but I think we'll just use them separately. So let's put it there. Or should we do it on that side? We could do, let's do one on each. We'll just do one on each, right? Oh no, that one's already too much peach. We'll use them both over here. And then we'll just use the butterflies in the other place. All right, a little bit of that, a little bit of layering, and there should be some leaves. So you can kind of do that little thing. I, I'm only layering the flower. I'm not putting the, the leaves up on dimensionals. I'm just sticking them, stick them under there. We'll stick one under there, and we'll stick one under here. So that flower's going there, so we'll put that flower down there. And then we'll just add a few butterflies and we'll have an odd number. So I would normally do like three, 
three of anything, like three butterflies or three flowers. All right, so let's put um, something like this on this one. We'll layer the butterflies. A little bit of purple behind it. I'm only layering the middle butter. I'm layering the two butterflies on each other, but then I'm gluing them to the back. And we'll do that a little bit to these ones. Uh, let's see, the blue, I think the green, we need the green, there we go. Green and pink, or not pink, Blushing Bride. You need a little bit of layer in between them. The dimensional just pops them up. Right, so. I'm just using something old, something new. I'm using the Butterfly Punch, which is old, not, not that old. I'm just trying to make sure that this is hidden. You got to make sure your dimensional is hidden back there. Like that it's hiding. I put it in the wrong spot. It wasn't hiding behind. It hides perfectly behind the butterfly, but I had it sticking out a bit. See, I'm a messy crafter, but let's, let's go with it. I don't know. This one's going to have to go on the other card for it. It's just too much green. It's too much green on there for me. We'll do two smaller butterflies over there. I can't put green on top of green. I tried, but I just couldn't. But I can put these colors on top of there because they contrast. Yeah, we'll just do two of those. Looking for, I know some of you guys are like, there's the lid of your glue. Okay. So when you do the smaller ones, you need to, we need for the butterflies, you got to use the smaller dimensionals for the smaller butterflies. You can't use the big dimensionals. Okay, so something like that. Let's see what else we got. We got a peach. We'll do a peachy keen here. We'll do this little bit. We'll put the peach in the back because it's not really contrast either, but it'll make this one pop a little bit. And if you can't use a second dimensional or you can't gonna get it in the, not ain't, you aren't, shouldn't, which my grammar. Okay, you aren't gonna get it in the envelope, right? So that's why if you're gonna use one dimensional, then the second one you should just use like the glue, put the glue behind it. Okay, and then we're just gonna add a little bit of bling bling. I could use my new bling bling, but let's just use my old bling bling. Uh, let's see. Just my old bling is like, not old, it's it's current, it's called opal rounds. A little, a few of them will be cute on anything, and I also have these new pale papaya. I probably could use three of my new pale papayas. Let me see if I can find this. Here we go, I haven't opened these yet. These are the new ones. And mint macron, I think that's what someone told me yesterday. So these will go good together. Here, we'll put them in the, we'll put them in here. Oops, I should have got my little take your pick tool. These will be really cute inside the butterflies. That's what I'll do with these. We'll do some gems. We'll put a gem there. We'll put the little green, the mint macaron gem there. Ah. Come on, this is when, if you use your take, oh, I have it right here too. You're probably like, it's right there. You can probably see better than I can. I don't know what I did with the end of the, the adhesive there. But see, it's so much easier when you place it down with your take your pick tool than it is when you try to just do it with your fingers. And then you need a big one for that butterfly. Let's see, we need it this color because of contrast, right? Oh, I'm liking it now. That, that's what it needed. It needed the bling. So there you go. So your memories and more cards and envelopes, they're, they're, they're white. They're just, I don't need anything inside. They're very, very thick white. White card stock, okay, so very thick, basic white. So you don't need anything lying in them. You just slap one of these cards on there. When I say slap it on there, one of these cards from the Memories and More cards, glue it on, little strip of an inch paper, your little punch, couple, your butterfly punch, and you're good to go, okay? So you get the idea, we don't even need to do the other one. We, we started the other one, but I would have done the same thing. We don't even need to finish it, right? Just, you just do the same thing. Just rinse and repeat, you get instant cards. All right, so now let's move on to the cheap unboxing. That was fun, fun, fun. Yeah, I know. Is there any way to craft without making a mess? All right, let's look at Inspired Thoughts Bundle. 
We're not going to die cut this. We're just looking at the bundle. Inspired Canopy. So this bundle goes... Hi, Terry. When I say bundle, it means that you save 10% when you get the stamp set and the dies together. Oh, I forgot my sentiment. I don't think it's going to fit now. I'm going to have to put it on the inside. There we go. Well, actually, I'm not going to use the sentiment. But I, I'm not even going to use the sentiment, but I forgot to put it on there. I don't think it needs one. I'll put something in the inside. But I think I'll stamp something else on the inside and put it, you know, put it in there. Instead of little card, big thanks. I'll stamp something else because it already ran. i use another color. Okay, so anyway, inspiring canopy dies. Ooh la la. Lou la la. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this die. This is some heavy duty stuff. This isn't, this is no joke. And then you've got the little landscape thing and a little circle. And you can do all the extra little layering of your trees. So I guess you could do winter trees without anything on them, right? Just, just make winter trees. Or you could put some leaves on them. And you got all these different little bushels of leaves. So how fun is that? All right. Good to go. I like that die. And then we got inspired thoughts. So we have sheltering you with love at a time when words fall short. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Look at all these fun things. Yeah, this is a great die set. Let's just see if we can get the hello to fit on. Let's see if we can get anything. And this still is to fit on my double oval punch. Okay, let's see. We shall try. This hello will definitely fit. Yeah, hello is going to fit, and I don't know about the others. But how great is this little sentiment? Here, I'll let you read the sentiments while I get my hello mounted. And it's, I'm just following the process I did earlier. I'll do it faster. I know everybody's waiting to keep seeing my unboxing, and I have to stop and craft. I just cannot help myself. I like, I like to stop and craft all the time. All right, there we go. Hello. Putting that back in there. We're just doing this one, and all we're doing is just making the hello... So that we can get a little sentiment for with the double oval. I think I can just do it right on here. Okay. I always do two at once. So we'll try to we'll do the hello on there, but first we'll do it on the on the mat. Memento black is great for just your sentiments. Oops, center it better on your block. If you don't center it, you don't have good uh, See how the O is dark? If you ever have problems stamping, it's because you need to center your stamp. Or you could have needed to put the silicone mat down, which I have a silicone mat somewhere. Here, we'll just use my Stamparatus mat. You need, if, if you're not getting it even covered, you need to stamp on a sponge or Stamparatus mat, which, by the way, are only $1.80 right now. My teammate Crystal just pointed that out, these extra sponge mats. Oh, yes. That works. See, it's way even. When I was see when I was trying to stamp on there, like up on this mat, it wasn't even. The, not only is my table not even, but it wasn't even. I mean, the stamp wasn't even. There you go. And we put that on there, and now we can mount that onto our card with a little bling. We're gonna put that right on here. We're gonna move. I'm gonna have to evict that guy. I think that one bling. We'll have to go somewhere else but we need to mount it first so we need some dimensionals see I'm opening a new pack of dimensionals already because we can't find the other ones they're buried under there all right something like that I love the double oval punch yep it needs to go this little guy needs to go this gem we're gonna put him up there and we can put that right there. And even, yeah. I mean, or, or, I mean, I can, I can do this one over here. Here, put him back where he goes. I don't think this needs a sentiment. We're going to put that one right there. Because of the contrast, right? The other one, it needs a sentiment, but it needs like a smaller, it, it's too crowded already, that card. So we'll put that there. See, the double oval punch gives you that extra layer that you can then use for contrast when you're stamping. Look, I got a butterfly in my glue. Isn't that fun? All right. 
So, that card is fun too, and it'd be easy to finish. Just throw a couple extra little butterflies on there, or a little flower, and you're good to go. So that's how you jazz up your memories and more cards. All right, got that. Now, where were we? We're done with the canopy. We've got that one. We understand how cool it is. Sympathy. Um, it's it's kind of like cutesy in a way, but it's also like like it's really nice fun. It's it's kind of like fun, but it's not too cutesy like schoolish. And even has a Christmas one. Okay, so. Caroline and Honeybees came back. We got some of our usual friends on our live. Thank you for coming in. All right, now let's look at the... I don't usually store my dies in here. I'm only doing it so I don't lose them. I, don't, I store my dies on magnetic sheets. All right, we're going to look at this one next. Because last time we opened up... This is called Beautiful Trees Dies. We opened up this paper in the last video, right? And it was really cool paper called Beauty of the Earth, right? I think it's called Beauty of the Earth. And this is really awesome designer series paper. So I didn't have the, I said, hey, I'm still waiting on my stamps and dies. Well, here we go. This whole suite, I did get the whole suite. So I don't know what else is coming from the suite. Maybe some ribbon. I mean, I don't know what else is in the suite. But I did get the dies, the stamp set, and the paper. I ordered the whole suite. I know that. There was there's like an item number where you can just say, I want the whole suite. And I like this because of all the trees. So this is called Beautiful Trees Dies. So I feel like about butterflies and trees, like you can never have enough. But with flowers, I feel like I can have enough, but not with, not with trees and butterflies. Oh, this is going to be neat. This is going to be fun for Halloween time. Let's see what's, what's up with that round thing, though. What's up with the round piece? Huh. Okay. Oh, thank you, Donna. There's a boss in, a bark embossing folder. Oh, I can't wait to get that in the mail. Thank you. I'll, I'll play with that when I get I don't have that yet then. A bark embossing folder. Maybe I don't have it. Maybe nobody has it. Maybe it's one of those things we weren't able to order yet. Maybe that's why I couldn't get the whole suite because the boss, the bark bot embossing folder. So you know what this little line reminds me of? It's probably like a way for you to give an even pressure when you're die cutting. Maybe it's a way to push down on all the branches. I don't know what that design is for, but um, you're only cutting out these little pieces with the squiggles, but maybe that's to help push down against everything. And let's see what this is. What's up with this? Is this to layer? I mean, what's up with that extra piece back there? Is that to make a background layer? Oh, no, maybe to make, okay, you make one color for your tree, and then you make another color for your leaves? Maybe? I don't know. And then this, oh, I like this. Oh, how fun. I love when I just have a nice little rectangle to just make a bunch of extra rectangles to put in my bucket of crafty goodness and some extra little birds. And that way, and here's another rectangle. I love that. That way you get extra things for, you know, that not only fit your sentiments, but extra little things. Oh, it makes a bush as well. Okay, so you can make a bush. And trees. This must be huge stamps or something. Let's see what's up with these stamps. Oop, my crease is cracked. See that? My case is cracked, but no big deal. I'm trying to open it, though. Okay. Okay, here's the new stamp set I was telling you about. Here's the new stamp set. The new stamp case I heard about. So when, you, when you're done with your stamps, you can just store them on the case like this. Okay, isn't that nice? So in this plastic, I mean, you can save the plastic if you want. But it used to be that, like, you know, this, they used to be printed, printed things on here that you match up the sentiments with. But now you're matching them up to the inside of the case. So I do like that stamp case. All right, well, cool. Happy with the beautiful trees, dies. Beauty of friendship. And did I just use that hello, or did I use the other hello? I think I used this hello. They both have hello on it. Okay, yes. I used the cutesy hello. This one has a hello as well. And I believe in you. Okay, these are, these are nice. Oh, how fun is this? Okay, party puffins. To someone who makes others happy. Oh, my goodness. These are just adorable. It's a cling stamp. Okay, the regular case. 
party puffins. I like that. This is, that's going to be really cute. Everybody needs a whimsical set. Okay, these are tailor-made tags and basic border styles. These aren't part of a bundle. These were just, just there. They were just there, and I just, they were calling to me. Even though I had already got those other tags for $4 I told you about. The tags that are $4 dies on the... I still said I need to get more tags because I never have enough tags. Tailor-made tag. Oh, yes. I like this. Okay, so this is this is a tag. Tailor-made tags. Let's see if they're... Okay. Oh, yeah. So the hole's already built in, and then you have little reinforcements. How nice. So if you like to make... You know, little memory card type things. Let's see if I can get this up. Can I get this up there? Let me just get under there with my spatula. This this is really strong adhesive. Okay, so what this is, is a little reinforcement for your tag. And nice that you can cut three at once. Because I would lose these in a heartbeat, right? So you cut four at once. So you can make the extra little reinforcements for the holes. And that, that's cute, that they're cute. And you can make some vintage looking things with those. I like those little reinforcements. And I like that you can make three at once and not lose your dies. All right, so that is called tailor-made dies, tailor-made tags dies. Okay, now let's see what the basic borders is about. Basic borders dies. Okay, lots of fun here. We got a zigzag. We got a sort of an ornate border. I like how it's all stitched. So it's going to be like two cards in one. You'll get one side that's stitched and one side that's cut. So then you can use both parts of your card. So nice. And you can get, this looks like it would help with an envelope or, and we got a curve. All kinds of, and all kinds of fun borders. Again, I don't think they were part of a bundle. It just said borders. And I, I just like stuff like that. So what I would do is I'd probably take a piece of, you know, you cut your piece already. Let's just say this was your card. Let's see how long these are. Okay, these are six inches. So they're more than, yep, they're six inches. These are six inches. So you just cut your, right? You can just cut your border. Yeah, you would turn it over and you would just do that. Right? Pretty cool. And you could, you could then use that. On the, on the card. And then you'd have another piece. You just do two of these and then you'd have another piece to use on the top of this and then you mix and match. So you use the top of one of them with the bottom of another one because it'll cut and it'll stitch. How nice. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go back and finish now. We're going to get, I have a couple ribbons. Let's see what these ribbons are. Okay, tailor made, and I want to go back and finish a couple more of these other cards that I cut yesterday with the pansies, because I'm thinking these, um, just as shapes to put in my other flower thing, or just the butterflies. I think I might use the butterflies with the pansies. All right, we are going to open up this ribbon. These are some ribbons that just came in. Let's see. All right. Let's see some. Ian taught me the trick of just leaving the ribbon under there, finding the loose side, and leaving that plastic on, so then it doesn't get all over the place. Ian's the other moderator for my Scan and Cut user group. He helps me a lot, so here we go. So that was his little trick. When he was unboxing, he did that little trick of leave the plastic on, and then you could take the ribbon out as you need it. See? And get all over the place. I watched his unboxing a while back. Not of this catalog, but other items. Pretty cool. That is called, what is that ribbon? It's very shiny and metallic. All right, it was called Hide in Heather. Hide in Heather something something. Here it is, cross grain ribbon. How cool is that Hide in Heather ribbon? Okay, now we'll see what this one is. This one is called Smoky Slate something something ribbon, textured ribbon. Smoky Slate textured ribbon. There's the little piece. See, once you get the little piece that's, Smoky Slate Textured Ribbon. Now that one I might not have to leave the plastic on because it gets a little wrinkled when I do that. That one I think I need to take the plastic off of because it's like getting wrinkled as I pull it out. Yeah, there you go. 
Ooh, ooh la la. All right, I like when we get new ribbons. And I always like to try to order any new ribbons that we get, so that's fun. Okay, so a couple days ago we did, I, I colored some, so when I did the uncolor, the in color unboxing, right? I had colored some doilies and root in with the in colors, okay? And then I also had made some yesterday, or a couple days ago when I unboxed this pansy paper, I made some diaper fold pouches and I put a bumblebee on one and sent it to Sue with her, with her prize. This is another memories and more cards. So now I just, then I mounted some of these onto cards and I thought we could just finish them with a sentiment and be good to go, right? I don't even have the pansy suite. So this was, th what I did for this one is I took the pansies paper. The pan it's called pansy petals or petal pansies, something like that. And I took the designer series paper and I took the gingham and I took a piece of that evergreen, evening evergreen and I embossed it with the, with the woven textures embossing, 3D embossing folder. And I put a few little pieces. So all this needs is a few butterflies and it's good to go, right? A few butterflies and a sentiment. This one just needs a sentiment, maybe some butterflies, right? I just mounted them. I just used the designer series paper. Same with this one. So I just thought, you know, just get a few ready and just uh, finish them, finish them off. Tell me these don't look like little faces. I think you put little eyes on them. These look like little monster faces. Somebody with us was saying that too, and I was like, we were cracking up. So let's take the double... We know the double oval punch works, right? Because we just used it. So now we just got to find it again. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here's the double oval punch. And um, we know that the we know that this color, we know that the in colors are part of this, right? The in colors. So I know that this this one will work, right? This color is going to work. The pale papaya. Now this is a different type of purple. That's the fresh freesia. So maybe we we'll use. Maybe we'll use some of the in colors here. We'll use some of the pieces. So instead, right, I know that this is one of the in colors in this paper. But, I, but the other ones were not. Like, that's a different kind of purple. So what I'll do is I'll take some strap, strap, scraps, not straps, scraps from this paper. Right? And we can make our little backgrounds with these scraps. Yeah. Like, so we can do something like that for contrast, right? And then we can put it on there because it'll, it's from this set. So we know these colors match. So if you ever wonder, why does my stuff not look right? If you're ever looking at your crafts and you're like, something's not right with my crafts. Like they're not, they're not, they don't look right. They don't look right because you're not using coordinating colors. That would be the reason they're not looking right. So in my opinion, so when you use coordinating colors, I think everything just sort of comes together and starts looking right. And because I'm, I'm stamping onto designer series paper. You have to hold your stamp there a little bit longer than you would on on the whisper white that has or the basic white that has good ink absorption. So these little flower embellishments are so cute. You can throw one of them on there with a glue dot. They are they they match and they're so cute. And you just need a little glue dot from the So the easiest way to get these off is like stick them on there, right? Stick it right on the glue dot and then try to lift it up. Because they're so, the glue dots are so sticky. Oh, how cute. I think it needs one on the other side for balance. But we can't use the peach one. Not peach. Pale papaya. We can't use the pale papaya. We must use, for contrast, the polished pink. Polished pink. Oh, yes. Now tell me somebody won't love that little tea. And they can use it again. They can take the chocolate or the tea out that you give them. And they can just use it again. Right? And just give it to someone else. Because it's a little reusable diaper pouch. Diaper fold pouch. I'm just using glue dots to hold it on there. Because that's already popped up with dimensionals. I'm trying to see if there's any more. When you already pop up something with dimensionals, you don't want to keep putting another layer of dimensionals and another layer because it's already there's already a layer of dimensionals in there and these flowers are already 3D. So you don't want to also put more dimensionals. 
so just glue dots is fine. There you go, so that's finished project, finished treat pouch. This was the diaper fold that we folded in the video. You can put a piece of Ghirardelli chocolate in there too, that fits. Okay, now let's finish one of these cards. One or just, just one card. Okay, we'll just take, because I thought the vellum would look good on here. Back there, right? Something like that. And a couple butterflies and a little sentiment. So we don't want the hello for that. We need a little bit bigger of a sentiment. And that's why I grabbed the postage, this rectangular postage stamp punch. So this time, I think, instead of trying to stamp onto, you know, basic... I like the little card, big thanks. I like little card, big thanks. That's nice. But don't, I'm not going to try to stamp onto the... I'll, I'll stamp onto this. Because I, when I stamped onto the cardstock, that ink ran. I don't know if you noticed that the ink ran. It's smeared. Because I was stamping onto cardstock. But when I stamp onto the designer stage paper, it doesn't smear. I'm leaving the other piece behind there only because it helps me keep my table. My table's not very flat, so I kept that other piece of designer stage paper behind it. Oh, yes. That works. All right, so because I'm using that color, what I'll do is I'll use this doily, right, because I'm using this color. So we want contrasting color for the doily. If I was going to use a different, if I was going to use, maybe I can use that color on that doily. So you're going to tilt your doily. These are, these are square doilies available now. And you just want a little bit of, you want to fasten it down, but it's going to be hidden. It's going to be hidden back there. So you're just, I'm just putting a little piece behind where that's little card, big thanks is going to be. And I'm just kind of putting a little piece of a, this is just tear and tape because I actually have a seal that other stuff, but it's just not really close by. So I'm going to put that like that. Okay, and then we can put that little guy there with some... Oh, I tilled... I actually stamped it wrong, so I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Since... Not stamped it wrong, but I stamped it a little bit of an angle, so we're going to tilt it. Then you won't know the difference. And then we're going to put that in a couple butterflies. Here, we'll go like that. A little bit of tilting, and then we've got these butterflies. But we're actually, we'll use the butterflies from... Because this was from that other paper. This is pansies, right? Pansies. So we're going to use, if we're going to, if you're going to do it right, you want to take the butterflies from the same paper that you're, that you're working with. I think the little ones are going to probably work out better. So maybe the big, if we're going to do a big one, it would go down there. We can't really fit those up there, but we can fit the small ones up there. And that one's too light. And I know I had another one with the... Well, I can't find it right now, so we'll just get another small one. We'll just go like that. Next to each other with a little gem between them. Gem. We be gemming. We be gemming. I don't know where my... These are the big dimensionals. So you put the big ones behind your big butterfly. And you hide them. And then you put your little ones, the mini dimensionals. You know, you can make your own mini dimensionals when you can't find them. You just go like this to the edge of your big dimensionals. And then you make your own mini dimensionals. Because we're not going to, on a live video, look all over for dimensionals. And then where are our cute little gems? Again, I put a few of these. I love these. I, I'm going to have to get so many more of these before these retire. I love... I know, you know what? I don't think these are retiring. These are probably not retiring. I'm trying to figure out where to put the third one. We'll put it up there, but then I'm going to put some gems on the butter. Opal rounds are probably not going anywhere. Okay, these little... These little pa pale papaya. Oh, they end up being clear. You know what? I'm going to use this one and see if that works out. They, they looked clear. 
like translucent, but it's kind of it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that it's translucent, but and there you go, and that's how you finish your cards off. Oops, there you go. So I hope it's not upside down after all that. It is. <laughs> you gotta do the old switcheroo. Not switcheroo. I'm just gonna cut it and mount it onto a bigger card. It's easier. Just I'm just gonna see. I I did it backwards, but that's fine. Oh no, it's not because the pansies go the other way. So I do need to. I just need to fix it. Fix it like that because the pansies have to be a certain way. Like the way that the, because the way that like I guess it's the way the bees get attracted to them. You know what I mean? Like the the flower the way that they hang down. I just checked before this video and I saw that the pansies were all like facing the little flo the little fun colorful part of the pansy was facing down. So I do need to I can't just remount my card. I got to turn my butterflies upside down. And you know how many times I've done this, right? You can tell. <laughs> you can tell how many times I've done this. There you go. Little card, big thanks. I like that better anyway. I actually like that better. But my card is complete. So, we could, I mean, rinse and repeat. We could do this all day with the same paper. You want the contrast from the paper. We could, we could probably use part of the doilies on something like that, but we'd be better off using the doilies on, on these larger cards, you know, like those. Let's make sure before you do all that work, make sure that you're in the right spot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just take all your little butterflies. All right. So I think that's enough crafting for one day. I hope my computer, I hope it, I hope it didn't freeze there. And I hope you got to see that I fixed this card. Okay, I hope, I hope my, I think my, my camera was frozen, so I hope yours was not. So I just wanted to say thank you all for coming. And I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And some, the combination of some old and something new. So, so we have our punches. This is a current punch. This is a retiring punch, the butterfly. This is new paper that's not out yet. These are doilies that are existing. The opal rounds are existing. I hope you enjoyed the combination of using all of your different supplies, old and new, to just make some really fun things. And I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. So, yes, have a great day, everybody. And thank you all for coming. And we'll see you next time. I still have some more things coming from my pre-order, so we'll see what I have next to show. I don't know what it's going to be, but it'll be fun. Bye for now. This is the Paper Chef.